Yes, as much as I would like to tell you I don't go to Forever 21, I did return to Forever 21. And um, it's because of my relationship with Polka Dots and Stripes. Also, I was going on vacation and need a few pieces. So, these are the items I got, guys. Oh my God. I really, really couldn't pass this one up. Guys, it's just a beautiful dress. And it fits beautifully, in my opinion. I just love it. You guys, you guys know, I, I just love the sleeve the deep V. It definitely has a very long V so I have to use a fastener right here but apart from that I'm good with it. So sorry this is not the channel for a lot of cleavages so my apologies. And I love the waistband here. This is definitely one of the most flattering features on this dress. It just emphasizes the waist and then it's floor length. I find floor length dresses to be the most flattering on me. So I often gravitate towards them whenever I'm purchasing a dress. Surprisingly, um, has an inner lining and while it doesn't go all the way to the floor, I still appreciate that. So. In many instances, when I go into Forever 21 and realize that they have shortchanged me on a lining, I leave the stuff back, but I was reasonably surprised with this. And I am not sure what the material is yet. So for this piece, the materials are, outer shell is 100% rayon, which is excellent because it's biodegradable and eco-friendly but the lining is a hundred percent polyester i love this piece i love the elegance of it i love when my dresses sweep the floor it's so elegant the same as my trousers so i love that it's really well made i'm i must add this is gorgeous this is my style, it's my look, so it fits right into my collection. I find that Forever 21 is getting too pricey. In fact, all of the companies are getting really, really expensive. And I just hope that this money that they are charging is being trickled down to the workers because if that is not the case, yeah. I'll be definitely not shopping with some of these companies. Seriously, some I can't stop shopping. I can because I'm very good at utilizing what I have in my wardrobe as I've recommended for you guys to do over and over again. And I'm also very good at thrifting. So it's not a big deal for me. So anyways, guys. So yeah, this is one piece that I really, really loved and definitely intend to get wearing out of when I do go to my country because I will be going to my country to help look after my mom. Still at Forever 21, I also got this crop top and it's, it's, it's really, really pretty on. I was pleasantly surprised for it. I love the details on it. This top got me at stripes, believe it or not. <laughs> really, really gorgeous. And it, it matches beautifully with many of the items in my wardrobe. It's such a great neutral piece and it goes beautifully with all my high-waisted pants. Love the button details and the white straps. This is cotton and linen, so it's definitely a sustainable material. And um, I love the button details that it has. 
and I love the the smocking detail at the back as well it's really really pretty really love it it's such a great summer piece and it's such an unexpected piece to add because when I looked at it on the rack it really didn't look like it was gonna fit but I'm so happy that during the sale and it's definitely one of the pieces that I have been wearing and absolutely love it. I also went a bit gingham because this piece was on sale and these are pieces I got for $5, $8. Guys, these are really, really great bargains. And that is why sometimes I tell you guys that you can get great pieces if you wait for the bargains and not just go out and start shopping blindly and spending so much money on items that you end up sometimes not even liking and with forever 21's policy which i absolutely hate unless you return stuff online you get a store credit and i don't always want to be shopping at forever 21 i want my money back so it's one of the reasons why i really don't shop so much at forever 21 i only buy items that i'm confident that i'm likely to like so this is a hundred percent cotton it's off shoulder it's really really great for a vacation and so if you do if you are going on vacation i think i'm not sure if the sale is still on but I recall just having gone in a couple of weeks ago and things were, items were at rock bottom prices. But it's probably not on anymore. But as usual, the reason I share these items with you is just to just hammer home to you that wait for sales. Don't just jump onto the bandwagon and say unless you need something urgently honestly don't go just spending your money i'm here to teach you how to shop wisely and to still be on trend and to look fabulous and beautiful on a budget and keep in mind guys you don't even have to shop limit your consumption it's not mandatory yeah, these are pieces that I absolutely love and these are items that I thoroughly recommend. And of course, the creme de la creme of this haul are two items that I just couldn't pass. I told you guys in my last Topshop haul that I wanted the black and that I ordered the black. Ta-da! Me and this dress, guys. <laughs> really, 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 really love this, guys. It's parfait. Ah, it's such a great piece. It has a different texture to the very first piece I bought. It feels more like cotton, but I think it's polyester. I don't understand. It feels like cotton. And yes, guys, if it turns out to be polyester, it's also too late for me to return it because I bought it blindly. Yes, guys, as much as I look excited about this dress because I love the look, I love the style of this dress, but it is polyester. It feels like rayon, actually, not cotton, just to correct that. But it is polyester. Why did I expect it to be a different material? That's insanity, right? Because the one I showed you guys, the white one, it is 100% polyester. Ah, so disappointed. Because I love the style. See how foolish I've been? So the lesson here is not to be as foolish as I am, but to really really pay attention to the pieces that you are investing in 
and by investing I mean for me whenever I decide to go and purchase something it's an investment I don't care if it costs like five dollars it's an investment it's something that I'm gonna buy invest in so that I can wear it for years to come so yeah it's an investment an investment is I'll put the definition on screen here <laughs> The next item is a sandal from Dunes. And guys, I've been looking at this sandal like forever and trying to decide whether I should buy the one from Zara or this one. And I ended up buying this one. I love this one because it's a real dupe for the Hermes one and oh my god it's a hundred percent leather it's really really nice and soft and cushiony so i love this i saw emma hill's review on the ams one so i was really motivated to buy this so this is definitely one that emma hill made me buy <laughs> and it's definitely for me, I love it and it's a great purchase and while this is not the season for sandal, as I've mentioned before, I'll be returning to my country and so I'll be able to wear this while I'm at home. So it's really, really, it's a really great piece and I must add that if you do intend to buy this, um, it's a bit pricey and but the great thing about it is that when it's sent to you all custom duties and taxes are included so that to me is a definite peace of mind because i hate surprises when you order things online and then it gets to your door and you have to pay 90 dollars oh my god does anyone else hate that seriously it's another thing we have to make companies be accountable for and to be transparent whenever we are buying stuff online we need to have them inform us of what the taxes are likely to be or to include it in the prices so that when it gets to us we are not surprised by it Louisa V Roma is a company that does that Vestia Collective is another company that does that and Dune London is a company that does it so it's definitely encouraging for me to purchase from these places in the future whenever you buy items make sure you inquire into whether or not the taxes and duties custom duties are included of course I also wanted another sandal trust me when you're in the Caribbean and you wear a lot of sandals they get worn down pretty quickly so you often have to switch your sandals up so I wanted to grab another one and this is one that I found on H&M it's a hundred percent leather because it's suede um, the only thing I hate is that they have this I wanted it with just the bow the bow should this is how I wanted it. I didn't want this extra piece underneath. I just wanted the bow to cover my toes. I think that the piece underneath sort of ruined the look for me. So I'm not sure I'll be keeping it. But it's now on sale on H&M. If you do like it, I'm sure that many of you would like it. It's very cushiony as well. And I love the extra heel because I, I, I like that on a, on a sandal. It gives you a little bit of elevation, so I like that. And it's not a bad piece. It's now on sale from fifty nine to twenty nine, so it's a really good price point. And it comes in different colors. So if you love it, definitely, I would actually recommend it. I think it's very comfortable so anyway guys that's my haul 
I hope that you found it informative and that if you are interested in any of these pieces, especially the Topshop piece and the Dunes piece that are still available as well as this and other items, then definitely go for it. But as always guys, remember to shop wisely and let us join together and put these companies to work. Get them to provide us with sustainable items that we can wear for years to come and that we would continue to love. In that way, we can contribute to the environment while at the same time still looking fabulous and gorgeous. So th thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care guys. Bye. Love ya.